and Amanda Bynes are gonna she reached out to you yeah, for, to we, do something? I mean, honestly, she's she's that's the thing too, because when you talk over Twitter and text, and then you, know, I just had to make sure it was really her, because uh, even like cause sometimes even some of those tweets, I was like, ah, I don't know if that's really her, but. Yeah. The Amanda I spoke to <laughs> was was doing fine, and you know, I just told her, man, I'm here to support you if you need anything, and I wish you nothing but the best. And you know, we all go through things, and you know, you can't really, I can't judge her for her decisions or what she's doing, whether it's online or how she's out there. All I can say is, yo, as a friend, I've been there with you from the jump, and I'm gonna support you. Is whatever you need, I'm here. <laughs> Honestly, though, she knows what she's doing. I mean, yeah. hey, that's what when. For me communicating with her, that's what I've realized because mm -hmm. if you think about before a year ago, no one was really talking about Amanda Bonds. Now she's like got two million Twitter followers. We're talking about her right now. So she's crazy like a fox. Exactly. That's how I feel. She knows what she's doing. Hey, it's entertainment. All of this is entertainment. I was Maybe. about to say the town I think this season is the best I've ever seen. Absolutely. This is the best season of America's Got Talent by far. I mean, one, I think people got excited about the Radio City Music Hall. Uh, idea and then of course we got two new judges Heidi Klum and Mel B and see them work with Howie and Howard has been great and then whatever they did this time to find talent they found a bunch of superstars so people are tuning in in droves and we loving it and you took your shirt off and got slapped like, up on that hurt I was a lot if you saw I was red for like a week like those dudes were beating the crap out of me but uh I'll do anything for television <laughs> Put a camera in front of me, I'll strip, you can beat, whatever happens, happens. You see it every time. That I was, want them to strip, ladies? No, see, this, <laughs> see, you gonna get me in trouble at the house. My wife Let me try it again. Y'all want them to strip, ladies? Yeah. See, Mariah's gonna beat me with her one good arm. All right, so tell us about what's going on over here, Nick. Man, it's exciting, you know what I mean? My headphones have been taking off uh, tremendously in so many different places and have a new partner with Staples. Uh, especially for the back to school season is outstanding. So, you know, we just getting out here working, man, grinding. I got babies to feed. <laughs> All right, tell me about the headphones. What's the, uh, you, you were saying a couple things. Give me, give me yeah, some. Yeah, man, I got an opportunity to design these firsthand. And I remember I would get a lot of those in-ear headphones and they would always mm -hmm. fall out. So I was like, especially working out stuff, I was like, I need to come up with a way to kind of make them like stay on your body. So I put magnets on the back of them so it kind of hangs with a chain. You get the incredible emblem, so it's stylish. And then we got all of these colors too, man, because this is like our, probably like a, a third, you know, incarnation of, of headphones. So now we're doing a lot of colors. We're making them more durable because, you know, a lot of young people are using them going to school and stuff like that. So they don't break. The value is tremendous. And that's why we partner with somebody like Staples. I like it. Take that, Dr. Dre. <laughs> yeah. I said it. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24 7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>